Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Let's Play of Starfield, where, um... Did Sarah kill them? Nope, they've gone inside. We've got... There we go. Oh, you're about to explode. Yeah, a bit of an action-packed start, but hey, look at that, there's a... Is that worth it? I mean, that's not terrible, but... That's, like, this is my problem with Legendaries, like, you get stuff which just isn't very good stat-wise, and, like, less oxygen consumption, that's kinda nice, less resource weight, that's kinda nice, but I'm not planning on picking up resources. Headhunter, that's good for a sniper, but, yeah, it's just not very... <sighs> it's not very good. Well, I suppose they're not going All to right. it anymore. Uh, since the last episode, I have tweaked the game audio a little bit, basically turning down music and, um, sound effects in the hope that things will be balanced a little bit nicer, because I found it was a little loud last time on the music part. Uh, I'm not sure how the rest of you felt about that, because I'm recording this right after, but hopefully audio will be a bit better balanced this time around. Uh, I think I'm going to do a quick looting, and then we're just going to head to... I've got to look at how many missions I've picked up. Uh, we're going to head to Neptune. So I will cut to when I'm at Neptune, unless there's some incredible loot that's worth talking about. Here we are at Neptune, and first thing I always do when going to a new planet, make sure to scan it, and with, yeah, with the ones you can't land on, you just get the survey data for free. It's great. Wait, you see that? There's a ship just drifting out there. No time to take in the sights. That could be our vanguard. It could be our vanguard. Let's, let's go say hi. Saying hi seems like a sensible thing. The ship's weapons are powering up. Get ready. Oh dear. Yeah, it's trying to attack us. But fortunately, what we can do is just blast them with a bit of everything, right? Stop shooting at us. We'd be more than happy to respond. Ow. Okay. Yep. So it's been hijacked, and we're just gonna. Okay. If we blow that ship out of the stars, he's dead in our artifacts pool. Yeah, so what she wants to do is for us to hit the engines, which I find is quite difficult, like when playing normally. Like, there we go. That's it. Start the docking routine. Come on. Let's go rescue that vanguard. Alrighty, so yeah, we, you can't accidentally blow up this ship, I don't believe. Let's actually quick save. And then just see. No, it won't let you accidentally blow it up. But quite often when I try and disable ships, I do accidentally blow them up, because it's quite easy to do. Alright, let's just dock onto the ship. I like how there's little different docking animations and stuff, and you get to see your ship from a different angle. It's kind of nice. Especially if you mix up spaceships, it stops it from getting old too easily. And just being able to hold down one button to board is also lovely. Saves you just a little bit of time here and there. Just a nice little optimization, you know? Alright, there should be... Is there going to be someone here? No. What I remember is, yeah, this is the room with the bed. So there's the bed we're going to sleep in whenever I take damage. And... Here are the enemies I'm going to laser cut up. Lovely. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the laser cut is too good. It's too good. Do any of the rest of you do this? Like, I don't watch other Starfall content, so I'm not really aware of the meta or anything like that. But I know for me, I'm just like, yeah, I use the laser cutter until about... I don't know, level 20 on most characters these days? I'm kind of obsessed with it. But, uh, hey, yeah, that's everyone dead. And gotta get the ship key from him. Uh, oh, damn, that's... Yeah, that's an expensive suit. You know what, it's not in the 10,000 rule, but right now that's like the most valuable thing I will come across. So, I am just going to... Okay, a concussive Grendel is not bad, like, yeah. Oh, corrosive and concussive. I mean, bashing sucks, but the rest of that's nice. Um, okay, you know what, I can loot everyone right after. <laughs> I can do that off camera. Let's actually get stuck by Sarah, who run directly into me. Let's open this up and have a chat with Moara. Hey, buddy. How are you doing? Ah, am I glad to meet whoever you two are? Looks like we're all in one piece. Any day you walk away from, right? Uh, yeah, we're from Constellation. We kind of need to talk. What? You guys still exist? Man, I've only heard stories. We've heard stories, too. 
about a strange object you found on patrol. So you know what that thing is? I tried to hawk it in Sidonia, and the guy thought I was peddling phony titanium. Mm, it doesn't play nice with scanners. It'd be worthless to someone trying to flip rare minerals quickly. So you're saying I shouldn't be using it as a hood ornament? It'll be better in our hands. Hey, I'll trade some weird space rock for a rescue anytime. Hope you figure out whatever that thing is. Let's grab the artifact. Yeah, Moara is pretty cool, and let's pick it up. And Good you... work. Let's get back to the lodge. Yep, yeah, we'll go back to the lodge after a loot of this. I do love that because someone else was the first to touch it, you don't get visions and stuff from it. Uh, I know it's super minor and stuff, but it, it's nice, you know? It's just kinda nice. Back at the lodge, and it's time to deposit our artifact. Did you... <laughs> we have it. Go ahead. Do the honours. It fits. Energy spiked a bit, but it's restabilized. Is there anything new showing up? No, it's the same as before. There's a massive output as the artifact is added, then it harmonizes. Like it's waiting for the others. Hmm, that's speculation, but I think you're right. We need more. Here. You've earned this. Welcome to Constellation. As a full member this time. Yeah, and it's an honour to be a part of this. We're going to do great things together. All of us. By the way, how would you like to keep travelling together? I'm not sitting behind my desk for this. These artefacts are a new chapter for Constellation, and I'm going to be out there for it. And I want you out there as well. You got results. <laughs> I need someone like you watching my back. Uh, yeah, Sarah, let's get back out there. All right. We've got a few more leads we should talk about. First, there's an expedition that Sam Co has been putting together. It's in Free Star Collective Space, and he knows it inside and out. There's also the Eye, our star station in orbit. About time for you to meet Vladimir. He's been hard at work tracking down more anomalies. And last but not least, Noel. Have we heard anything from Barrett yet? A courier from Argos Extractors came by to let us know they're packing up the operation on Vectera. But that's it. No other word. Mm, that's not good. We should get over there and check on Barrett in person. Cool. So there we go. Yep. We've now completed the old neighbourhood, and we're going to do the Barrett Bye -bye. one. We've got Sarah following us, and as much as everyone loves listening to Samco, Vectera is where I want to go. So this is where we started the game, back in episode one. And we're going to go back and see if we can find Barrett. Although first, I am going to do a bit of selling and inventory management, but that can happen off camera. Although one thing I will do is, yeah, pinch everything from Sarah, and then I'm going to give her one of each ammo type so she can use any weapon I give her. Alrighty, I did my bartering, made myself a bit of money. How much money have I actually got now? Oh, uh, oh dear, the, the menu really didn't like that. Why is... Okay, it's not liking me going into the inventory just from that for some reason. 32,000 credits is re feels really low, but I think that's because everyone else I'm playing as right now has like over half a million. Y you make money crazy fast in the... even just in the mid-game. Yeah, look at Frontier looking all pretty, and I also gave Sarah that uh, legendary Grendel, because it's got concussive and corrosive, so she can't do badly with it. And now we're back on Vectera, so let's have a chat with Lynn. Well, you're back. Lynn! No, don't start. I've had enough Barrett for one lifetime. I don't need the sequel showing up on my doorstep. More pirates showed up when you were gone. We weren't as lucky this time. Calvert. Troy. Some of the new Dusties. They didn't make it. I'm sorry, Lynn. Well, how could you have? You weren't here. Anyway, I was pinned down behind some crates with Barrett. Bullets and laser fire everywhere. No smile on that damn carefree face of his. Like he knew this was it. I started stealing myself to go out fighting. Then that idiot puts his hand on my shoulder and says, Stay here, Lynn. I got you. That doesn't sound good. Not for them, anyway. Barrett is more dangerous than you might think. Next thing I know, 
two of the pirates are dead, and he's got the third one in a headlock. Drags him out into the open at gunpoint and demands to talk, or else I'm going to demonstrate Newton's third law on this guy's temporal lobe. And that's when they brought out Hella. <sighs> uh, yeah, stupid Hella. We all hate Hella. Hashtag Hella Haters Club. I didn't overhear everything. After the ten longest seconds of my life, Barrett put his hands up, and both of them ended up getting taken aboard the pirate ship, and that's the last I saw of either of them. Alright, I need to go find them, Lynn. They could have grab jumped anywhere. I tried pinging a transmission to the ship in the comms building before they left, but the pirates must have fried it. You wanna try it? Go ahead. But the odds of them being alive, even if you could find them... <sighs> I've lost a lot of people on this run, Dusty. I just want to pack up. Alright, so it's time to fix the computer inside of that building. Uh, I did, yeah, I looted everything I needed to here last time. Let's pick up that emergency power cell. Ooh, some credits. I will pick those up. And now let's head inside. This switch was broken before, but now it is fine to use. So we'll pick that up. Um, man, I'm going back and forth over whether I do end up building like an outpost or even use any crafting materials anymore in this run. I'm I'm really not sure yet. So I'm I'm gonna occasionally pick up the odd thing. Oh yeah, your followers will 100% trap you in those doors if you're not careful. Uh, what I want to do now as well is get Hella's cutter, which is just a cutter with the disassembler effect, which isn't a particularly good effect for a weapon which does such little damage, but uh. May as well have it, you know. Why not? What are you doing? This still has some value, you know. Value? It's worth 475 credits. That's not much value. That's really, really not much value at all. I think I can handle that. Admittedly, I should have, like, you know, uh, sold it in the bartering session I literally just did. But I didn't do that. So, pfft, or something. I don't know. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to do a quick bit of looting while I'm here. I'm pretty sure... I think in one of the rooms there's like a magazine as well. Uh, magazines just give permanent buffs to your character, so you don't want to forget about them. But I can't remember exactly what room it is. So let's just power things up first. Maybe it's in that room. That room feels... important. Let's see, is it... Yeah, it is! Okay, Trekkers Prime, 5% uh, more EM weapon damage. Which I think will actually come in handy in uh, for this character. I feel like there's going to be a point where we'll be using EM weapons. Which are like, non-lethal weapons, essentially. Alright, uh, I don't need to worry about sleeping just yet. Quick bit more looting. This is what like 90% of my playtime looks like. I am a bit of a looterholic. And I really just can't help myself. It's just like, there's loot, so I'm gonna take it. That makes it even more crazy for me that I had people talking about um, how you must loot everything. Like, I already spend enough of my time looting. If I looted everything, that would take even longer. And it, it'd just be ridiculous, you know? I'd do nothing but loot. And that'd be, that'd be a bit much. Even I think that would be a bit much. Alright, we... Uh... We don't have a lot of choices here. So I'm guessing, yeah, it has to be that one with that one. That's easy enough. And then that one's gonna go there, and that one will go there, right? Lovely! I do like the little Digipick minigame. It's fun. On the quick puzzles, you can just kind of wing it like that. But on the bigger ones, you have to actually spend some time thinking about it. I like it. 10 out of 10 puzzle. Uh, emergency transmission. Make out the grab jump calculations before we're out of range. Out of range of what? Out of range of the sensor array on Vectera. Would you keep up? Once we're outside the star system, the bandwidth goes from instant speed to effectively never. What good is sending a transmission down there? You gotta tell Lynn how royally screwed we both are? She doesn't even have a ship. You underestimate how many of my admirers there are in the galaxy, Heller. One of them is bound to show up, looking to reunite with this handsome face. We're doomed. Capital B, doomed. Got it, okay. 
Whoever finds this, I'm attaching the interstellar coordinates to the metadata on the transmission. Rescue us. Repeat. Rescue us. Alright, so yep, we've got the location of where they are. Let's have a chat with Lynn. So, you actually get that computer working again? Yep, found a transmission from Barrett. What? Let me see that. <laughs> Funny. Even knowing he's alive, I still never want to see him again. Hella, on the other hand, okay. Let me send you the location data embedded in the transmission. Find them, okay? Thanks, Lynn. Be a while before Argos comes to pick me up. I'll be here if you need me. And hey, if you ever need a little extra help, I've been thinking about a career change lately. Maybe it's time to put Argos behind me. Yeah, and this is the reason why I do this mission straight away with basically every character. We're going to end up with three separate followers so we can boss around and do what we want. We already have um, Sarah and Vasco as like our two people. And I've got one ship space free. I'm not putting Sarah on Max. She's following us and Astrodynamics kind of sucks. But yeah, there'll, there'll be... There'll be, there'll be another person. We might actually get four followers this uh, episode. I'll have to see how long things take. Uh, Lynn. Seems like you've been keeping busy, Dusty. If uh, you find yourself in need of a capable traveling companion, we should talk. My contract's up with Argos, and I could use a change of scenery. Man, the audio desync has been... Uh... Real bad this episode. But yeah, join my crew. Works for me. I'm not fussy about assignments. I'll go where I'm needed. Lovely, and you're not being assigned to the ship. Right. I'll get to work. Let's catch up later. Yeah. Lynn is good for outpost foe, and ooh, Navici. That's... Yeah, I'm pretty sure this place is completely random as to where you go. We're actually going out of a system, so... Look at that, we have to use 0.011 fuel consumption. I wonder if we'll make it. So this is the place whose name I've already forgotten. I think it's one of the moons of Pluto? Is that right? That doesn't sound right. No, it's a it's a moon of somewhere, not of Pluto. We're in the wrong system for that. Valo. A moon of Valo. There we go. Moon of Polvo. Boy, am I bad at remembering details that I learned seconds ago. There's also, yeah, only free resources and, hmm, yeah, we could probably get the survey data of this place fairly easily, but I'm not too worried about that just yet. What I am worried about is going boom, boom, boom. Look, look at all the jumpiness we can do. Also, that's a nice little Varun ship over there. By the looks of that, that looks like a Class A to me. Hmm, I think... Yeah, I think I've got that ship on another one of my characters. And I would like to see if I can run over and steal it. Because, yeah, that ship landing site right there. I'm going to see if I can take that ship. Because getting something better than the Frontier early on is great. Okay, I can see... Yep, it's a Varun Him. There we go. Which probably means we're going to need to fight the people on board, so yeah. This will be a good test of Sarah's weapon. Oh, that's also... Yeah, that's a lot of people right there. Uh, that's like... <laughs> yeah, a lot, a lot of people right there. I'll blast. They all dispersed a bit. Still, they're... Yeah, Sarah's going to take out that one. And then we've got this one Zella over there. That's... Yeah, that's really not too bad. Let's see if I can't just... There we go. This is a level 14 person who I just decimated with that. Am I able to? Nope. Oh, well, okay. Yeah, this can sometimes happen. Uh, it will get rid of me later, but some of the ships do just fly off like that. Okay, it looks like we were over that way. Well, we need to be yet there over dead people. Okay, so some of the ships you're not able to get on on board. They're just inaccessible, and they take off with you and kick you out. Which is another reason why you really want to know how to use your boost pack. Because your boost pack means you don't need to worry about how high you drop from. You'll always survive. 
Alright, let's just loot all these Varun Zealots. Uh, yeah, why not? That's Actually, that's a lot better. I'll need to check if any of this gear is better than what I have. What's an alien sandwich do? Oh, that's not bad, but I'm still not going to use it. Uh, let's double check what you had, in case you had any Varun gear. Because Varun gear is decent. Yeah, space helmet. Mm, where's V there, compared to equipped? So that's five more physical, three less energy, and one more EM. And airborne and radiation just flipped, but it's like twice the weight. Yeah, I don't think that's quite worth it for me. But let's check that spacesuit, which is... I mean, the energy's a lot better. If I was going like a stealth build, I'd pick it up, but the physical resist is so much lower. Uh, yeah, I was going to say you get hit by a lot of physical stuff, but you also get hit by a lot of energy stuff. That is significantly higher energy, and it weighs less. You know what? Yeah, I'm going to go with that. And now let's go over where I'm supposed to be going. That way. Yeah, let's find Barrett and Hella. Here we are. Looks like, yep, that's Hella over there. Let's go and say hi. Although first, I actually, this is going to seem kind of weird, but I actually want to get a photo of him. I'm thinking about maybe using him for the thumbnail. Oh, blast. Yeah, your character doesn't look down, they just look straight forward and always have like just a blank expression on their face. Very irritating. But yeah, I want to get a quick photo of Hella as well if I can, because I might use it for the thumbnail. There we go. That shouldn't be too bad to work with. Lovely stuff. And now let's talk to him. Oh, hey, it's you. In here I thought you were some pirate coming back to kill me. Lucky me, right? Uh, yeah, hold still, buddy. Let me patch you up. Nah. Nah, I'll, I'll be alright. Just, you know, wasn't trying to move around too much with all the painkillers and nausea meds running through me. You should let us help you. There's no reason for you to have to suffer needlessly. Man, I was so terrified when I got pulled on board that pirate ship. There it was all. Sorry, brother. I'll get us out of this. Trust me. Uh, yeah, but doesn't explain how the ship crashed. Oh, I'm getting to that. He tells me we need to start pretending to fight each other. <laughs> Trick the pirates into thinking they need to come in before one of us gets killed. I just remember him shouting, This kid is a killer. How am I supposed to defend myself against these curly whites? He's gonna bite my face off. I mean, I didn't think it would work, but they came in. All of a sudden, we were wrestling with two of them. Barrett reached for one of their guns. And shot someone he shouldn't have. Bingo. Blasted the pilot right in the back. <laughs> Through to the flight console. Dropped orbit like a rock off a high rise. I blacked out. And when I came to, there he was, smiling like it was just another day on the job. You missed the fun part, Heller. I mean, I go through all the trouble of saving your butt, and you weren't even awake to notice. Then he did the little finger gun thing. Yeah, but Barrett isn't here, and I kind of need to find him. Oh, yeah. Probably should have talked about that first. <laughs> Did I mention I'm on a lot of painkillers? So, I was real excited when a ship showed up. <laughs> then, less excited when I realized it was a Crimson Fleet ship. And then, really really less excited when Barrett said it's okay I got this he mumbled something to him and then they were all gone so the Crimson Fleet has him again I was drifting in and out but yeah I think so got a signal from the ship before they grab jumped guessing it was Barrett <laughs> haven't really been in a good <clears throat> 
space to have a listen. Here you go. Hey, uh, uh, I should come with you, right? I don't think anyone else is coming. Uh, yeah, let's get you on your feet first, buddy. Yeah, just, uh, don't ask me to operate any heavy machinery for a while. Uh, give me a minute. I think the worst of it is... Yeah, I'll be alright. I'll be alright. Ready to wisecrack with the best of them. Let me know when you want to head out. Alrighty, so let us recruit Hella first off. Still think there might be a spot for me on your ship? I gotta get off this rock. And yeah, buddy, let's get going. And you notice he's also very good with outposts. Like Hella and Lynn are basically your outpost followers who you get given early on. So if you want to build an outpost and set up people up there, they are who to go for. Phew, oh, I'm glad to hear you say that. For a second there, I thought you were going to leave me behind. What's on the agenda today? Uh, nothing's on the agenda because they're not good to go on the ship. But there we go, we've now got four, like, crew in our roster, which is pretty cool for so early on. You got it. Catch you on the flip side, boss. Thanks for letting me tag along. Alrighty, and once again, I I'm always forgetful of just, like, how much time hey it there. takes to do these I'm missions and stuff. Me. Uh, I'm gonna do a quick check of looting around. Oh wait, no I'm not, no I'm not, we need to listen to the emergency transmission. You've given the fleet a lot of trouble, Barrett. Hey, since when is surviving being attacked causing trouble? Isn't that just fighting back? Hey, pilot, could you move your arm a little bit to the left? I can't make out the console. Don't move! Trying to figure out our destination. Probably transmitting this conversation right now while we're still in orbit. Well, yeah. Thought I was making that pretty obvious. Okay, okay, put the gun down. I'm done. See? My retinas are pointing away from the console and towards this lovely view of space we have out the window. Time up. Once we get back to the base, the fun starts. Alrighty, so yep, now we need to travel to Bessel 3, which is all the way over there, and go find Barrett. Oh, that is beautiful! I wasn't planning to cut to this moment, but look at that! That was an utterly beautiful landing shot there. Oh, that was gorgeous. Uh, this one not so much, but yeah, that top bit with the stars all above. Oh, loved it. Loved it, loved it, loved it. Here is Bessel 3, which only has like two resources, so I'm totally grabbing the scan data for this. Because yeah, I just need to find some uh, Helium 3 somewhere, which shouldn't be too difficult. I might land and find some uh, off-camera at some point. But, oh, there's also a ship landing off over that way. What we have over here is the Ransacked Research Outpost, which, uh, let's see if I can get... What's the gravity on here? 1.12. I was about to say, my boosts seem pretty light. Yeah, this whole little outpost over here, I think that's a god over there. There's another person up there. I see someone standing up there as well. Yeah, there's going to be several people for us to fight. You can even just about make out... Yeah, see? That's a turret on there with the laser moving. There's, there's quite a few enemies that we'll have to be fighting. But that's going to be for next time. I also hear gunshots. It's concerning. Yeah, that'll be for next time. We're going to be uh, rescuing Barrett in the next episode. <laughs> There's, I was expecting to get like more progress, but I want these episodes to be like half hour rather than like an hour. So we're doing like most of a mission per episode. But it's alright, means lots of episodes, should be easy to catch up on and stay with. I hope you are really enjoying, make sure to leave a like. Uh, feel free to suggest, um, whatchamacallit, Perks, skills, I should be getting in the comments, because I'm still not certain where I want to go with the character, but I'm open for ideas. And yeah, that's going to be it. As always, thank you very much for watching. Sarge out.